Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and it is such a beautiful day here. It's a beautiful November day. Beautiful skies, really no clouds out here. It's kind of warm, but not really. It's kind of like sweater weather. And I'm up here on the boardwalk because a few weeks ago I did a closed up Surfside Pier kind of video. And a lot of you guys said to me, Joey, can you do one on Mariner's Pier? Because you know a lot of things do get taken down. We want to see what it looks like. So I figured let's go ahead and do that. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. A special thank you out to my patrons on Patreon.com. Because of them, I can make a fun video like this on a random Monday. If you too want to support this channel and have your name at the end of the video, all you have to do is click the links in the description below. Anyway, let's get started. If you didn't watch our closing Surfside Pier video, I'll link that down below, but the system is very similar. At the last weekend of the season, which for this pier was Columbus Day weekend, they closed down the pier and starting that week after, they removed the trash cans, they started throwing away anything that needs to be thrown away, whether it's, you know, all the discarded food and things like that. They closed down all of the restaurants and then they get started on the rides. The rides are, to me is always the most interesting thing because once again, we're at a beach, which there's salt air and during the winter time snow. So they have to be able to put all this stuff away for the season. And there's many different ways of them doing that. The carousels are always great examples I like to use because every X amount of years, they choose one of the carousels to completely take down and refurbish. And while on Surfside Pier, this year they're removing the whole thing, that would mean on this pier, they're just closing it up, which means they just wrap it up. Other rides they'll completely take apart, they'll put in storage on Dinosaur Beach, aka the old Hunts Pier area, and then other things will just be wrapped up in place. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of walk around a little bit. It's kind of hard to do this pier because on Surfside Pier, we have all these little cubbies we can go in, not really over here, we really just have the entrance. So let's walk to the front and see if we can get any kinds of views of you know, them taking anything down. And it is a beautiful day up here, but uh, there's no one up here. Uh, looking down here, I don't think we're actually gonna see anything. Not really, nothing really to see. So this is the main way to look. And as a reminder, there are no trespassing signs. So even though you may see a gate like this open, don't go through there. I've seen a lot of people send me photos from them walking in there, don't, don't do that. It's really not a good idea. But walking into the main entrance, and you can see a lot is going on. First of all, no trash cans. You can see they removed all the trash cans. A lot of the benches have been moved. But the biggest thing I wanted to point out is the balloon race. Look, it's completely taken apart. They have the crates here. Probably gonna bring it inside to refurbish it. You've got some other parts over here for another ride as well. You can see that? That looks like maybe the little kid swing. And you can see the little gondolas, the little balloons on the side. You can see the teacups have their, their boards on the outside to keep it nice and dry inside. And if you look down by the wave swinger, it's completely down and the swings are probably either laying right there, it looks like. And we'll make our way to the other side of the pier. I really don't think we'll see too much. Once again, from a side view, um, that's why we have the drone. The drone is always the best point of view. But uh, we're going to walk past the hot spot and then peer over that way. And looking down the northern side, I really don't see much. Doesn't really look like they're putting anything out on the beach. Like I said before, you really can't see too much from the sides, which is why we have the drone, which we'll put in the sky right now.
Now, I didn't really see too much in that drone video. Maybe there's something you guys missed. And, and don't worry, I'm not going to throw you on a loosey-goosey chase of like, hey, is there something in this video that we're missing? But I'm telling you, there is something going on. There's a project that's going on that I read in the Philadelphia Inquirer of all places that I'm still trying to put my finger on because it's something that would be coming to Maury's and I don't know where it's going to go. Can't really talk about it yet. And so there you guys go. That is closing up Mariner's Pier. I want to thank you guys for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. Today was such a beautiful day, and it's funny because me and my wife is like, you know what, today's actually a beach day. It's kind of hot as you know. The sign over there says it's only 67. Ah, yeah, it's kind of a beach day. But as always, I will see you guys on the beach, which is right over here. <laughs> Thank you.